work in project. When you want to track the progress being made in a project, you must enter different kinds of information. You must tell Project 2013 when you want to track progress. You can track by your computer's current date and time, but you can also do it by a specified date, such as the end of the month. In addition, you can enter the actual start and finish dates of tasks, the percent complete, as we learnt in the last lesson, and the hours a resource spent on a task. If you think a task will take more or less time than originally scheduled, you can change the duration. What's more, you can enter materials used and fixed cost for expenses, such as outsourcing fees or shipping costs. These things allow you to track every aspect of your project, from work being done, to work completed, to money spent, to money being spent. Project 2013 can help you track everything you need. When you want to track the progress on your project, it is important to first enter a status date. Project will, by default, use the time and date settings on your computer. However, let's say that you want to track the project status through the last day of the month, then enter the data. You can also use update tasks along with it because you can mark tasks complete up through that date. To select a status date, go to the project tab and then click on the calendar icon here. Select a status date by either typing the date in or clicking on the drop down arrow and clicking on the date. Click OK. When you're trying to enter a project status and you notice that a task will be on schedule as of that status date, you can mark the task as part of the way complete as of the status date. To do this, select the task you want to update, then go to the task tab and then click on mark on track. If a task is complete, Project 2013 will automatically assume that the task was started and finished on time. However, if you're wanting to track progress, you want to enter the actual start and finish times for each task. To do this, go to either the actual start or actual finish in Tracking Gantt or Gantt Chart View with the tracking table displayed. In this Tracking Gantt View, you can see I have the actual start and actual finish columns. You can use the drop down calendar in these fields for actual start or actual finish to specify a date. It's going to be important for you to be able to tell how many hours a resource spends on the project. This is especially important if you have employees or contractors working on the project. Here's how to enter resource hours. Go to the task usage view. Find the tasks that you want to track and its assigned resources. Resources are listed in a row below the task name, as you can see here. Type in the number of hours the resource was used. To enter total hours, insert the column named Actual Work into the sheet. To do this, right click on a column, select Insert Column, and then select Actual Work. To enter in the hours on the task for each day, right click in the chart pane on the right side of the window. Choose Actual Work. The row called Actual Work will be displayed. This is called Act W. Click on the actual work cell for the day in which the resource worked and then enter a number. Next, repeat that step for every day the resource worked on the particular task. To enter overtime for a resource, go to the resource usage view. Insert a new column. Select overtime work from the list for the type of new column. In this example, you can see that I already have overtime work inserted. But if you don't, you can scroll down to the bottom where you have overtime work and insert that. If you don't want the column, right click on it and go hide column. Next, click in the column for the assignment for the resource and then click the up or down arrows to specify the overtime hours worked. You should note that if you enter overtime, Project 2013 will assume that effort driven tasks have shorter durations. If that's not true, you'll have to edit the task duration. If the duration of an auto-scheduled task has changed while it is in progress or already completed, you'll have to enter those changes into Project 2013. To do this, go to the Gantt Chart View. Go to the View tab, and under the Tables section, select Tracking. Go to the Actual Duration column for the task you want to edit the duration for. Enter the Actual Duration. You can also enter a remaining duration in the Rem Der column for remaining duration. Fixed costs aren't changed by time. In other words, they aren't hourly or daily charges. It's just a set fee. To track fixed costs, go to the Gantt chart view. Go to the View tab and under the Tables drop down, select Cost. You'll then see the Cost table. 
Go to the fixed cost column for the task you need to update, then type in the fixed cost. You can even enter in several fixed costs. It's that easy.